In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between two absolutely incredible breeds, the Akita and the Belgian Malinois. Welcome back to the Femre Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Akita. And if you love the Akita as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss an Akita video. And today we're going to take a good look at the similarities and differences of the amazing Akita and the light-footed Belgian Malinois. So let's dive right in and we'll start with the history of these awesome guardian breeds so that we can really understand why they are the way they are today. Now, named after the Akita province in northern Japan, the Akita is an extremely ancient breed. Back in the 1600s, these middle-sized dogs used to guard Japanese royalty and assist them in hunting fowl and large game, for example bears, elk and wild boar. And whilst it was the hunters themselves who eventually would kill the game, the bulk of the workload was shouldered by their dauntless dogs. Fierce and relentless, the hunting party's pack of Akitas would track down these large animals, flush them out and keep them in check long enough for the hunters to get there and then kill the game. After the Second World War, US soldiers imported a number of these intrepid Japanese hunters into America. And after 1980, the breed's popularity spread to many other countries. Today, Akitas come in two types, the bigger and bulkier American Akita, and then the original Akita Inu, or Japanese Akita. Contrary to the Akita, and despite its extreme versatility, the Malinois has never served as a hunting companion. Instead, the Malinois was one of the four shepherding breeds developed in Belgium during the late 1800s. In the year 1885, professional shepherd Adrian Johnsons laid the foundation of what would later become the world-renowned Malinois, who was named after the Belgian city of Malines. His goal was to create a highly effective and agile sheepdog. In the following years, this new breed proved its extraordinary skills in various working dog trials. Soon the Mali's popularity began to soar, and they were the first breed to join the Belgian police. Today, the Malinois is the service dog of choice for the police and military forces all around the world. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays, and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my my journey of how I do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching now the easiest way to tell these beautiful beads apart is their coat and coloring whilst the Keaters are spitz type dogs with thick and plush double coats Mallys have short and comparatively thin coats on first glance they look very similar to working line German Shepherds but contrary to their German Shepherd cousins breed standards only recognize three colors for the Malinois fawn black tipped fawn and mahogany and whilst pretty much every color is allowed for the American type of Akita the Japanese Akita is only permitted in the colors of brindle white red fawn and sesame as well the shape of the akita's head is almost fox-like whilst the malinois shares the wolf-like facial features and bone structure of other shepherd dog breeds now these incredible working breeds are exceptionally smart but whilst the akita is also extremely stubborn and independent the malinois trainability is impeccable in terms of the trainability akitas really are right on the opposite end of the scale from this belgian sheepdog and because of their immensely strong independence they absolutely require an experienced owner a calm consistent leader who knows how to train dogs that do not feel the need to please people perhaps the akita's strong-willed nature stems from the breed's origins as hunting dogs in Japan where they had to take on large and dangerous animals. During the hunt they needed to make their own decisions without guidance from their owners. The Malinois on the other hand is a straight 10 out of 10 in terms of trainability. These smart and athletic dogs can be educated to top levels and by top levels I do not only mean obedience but also guarding, tracking, search and rescue work and loads more. These dogs are top performers and a pure pleasure to work with. They are immensely eager to please their handlers and guaranteed to give their very best in each training session. This high trainability coupled with their immense intelligence make them learn extremely quickly. Now, because of their history as hunting dogs, Akitas are genetically predispositioned to be working in packs. However, today's Akitas have the tendency to be quite aggressive towards other canines, especially towards members of the same sex. They can also develop aggressive behavior towards humans, which is why calm, consistent leadership is so crucial, and which is also why Akitas are not suited for novice owners. 
Apart from firm but fair guidance, they need plenty of socialization. In the hands of a competent canine leader, these breeds can become good family dogs who behave well around children. In the house, they are clean, quiet and settled. These dogs are very fond of their humans and are deeply loyal. They are also known to be superb natural guard dogs. And whilst Belgian Malinois are world-renowned personal protection, police and military service dogs, they lack the Akita's natural aggression towards other dogs and people. Malinois do not usually come with an inborn desire to launch themselves at people and bite them. This behaviour has to be developed by specific guard dog training using decoys and utilising the breed's natural and extremely high prey drive. Serious dog bite injuries are usually only caused by Malinois who have been formally trained as guard dogs and who either were given the attack command for good reason or who attacked because of a person suddenly charging their handler. Without any such training, these slimline athletes are naturally friendly, joyful and enthusiastic. Usually they get along quite well with people and other dogs, provided they were socialised properly. In a family environment, they thrive on spending time with their favourite humans, and when trained properly in terms of obedience and house mal manners, Malinois can make superb family guardians. So then, I hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown of these two absolutely wonderful and glorious looking dog breeds. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you're new, as we've got two dedicated Akita videos coming to this channel every single week, and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Akita Show.